Hello, thank you so much for coming back to join me for this week's beauty throwback. So I was totally stoked when I found this at Dollar Tree and I'm talking about the Wet n Wild Coverall Correcting Palette. So yeah, I'm super excited to give this another go. It has been probably like 10 years since I've used this product, but when I found it at Dollar Tree, I'm like, you know what? You gotta give it a go. And uh, I am, like I said, super excited. So if you'd like to see um, how I use color corrector, see if it makes a difference because my skin's not looking super awesome today, then please keep on watching. Like it says, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty, so make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. You can also bookmark the page, that way you don't miss out on the daily uploads. Okay, um, yeah, I remember using this probably when I was in like middle school, maybe almost high school, and I couldn't believe they had them at Dollar Tree, but this is color color commentary and you get a purple a yellow a green and a white and yeah I was surprised they still made this and I'm excited um, I hear Robert Welsh like yelling in my head because color correctors are not like always necessary and like I guess there's like a huge trend on TikTok and stuff to overuse um, color corrector but sometimes color corrector can be a good thing but very simple packaging. Wet and Wild stuff is cruelty free. Um, anyway, I'm excited to use this. Like I said, okay, my skin is cleaned, cleansed and lightly moisturized. I'm ready to go. So um, I'm going to be starting with the green, which is for like helping to combat redness. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. It is pretty creamy, so you don't have to worry about it being super, super dry. I do think you could definitely use a brush with this. I personally like using my finger just because it kind of help, can help it melt into the skin a little bit better. But what you want to do with color corrector is you never want to go in with too much. Hi Thor. So I'm just going to dab a little bit on to my zits or redness. And all it's doing is you are canceling out the color. So if you look at a color wheel, um, green is the opposite of red, so it's going to help to neutralize that redness. You don't want a ton of green showing through. You just really want to get it padded out. Okay, so I have a little bit of broken capillaries around my nose. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit there. Okay, so that's what we're looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of the purple and I'm gonna go ahead, this can help dullness. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna take this lavender. Anywhere where it's a little bit dull, I'm just gonna go ahead and just place a little bit, make sure really blending it out. And lastly, I'm going to go ahead and take the yellow, and I'm going to be putting this underneath my under eyes. And I'm just going to be hitting my inner corners mostly. Okay, so we have green on the redness, we have the lavender on some dull areas, and we have a little bit of the yellow um, on the inner corners of the eye. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start applying foundation.
So here is the foundation. As you can see, like that zit is still popping through, but the purple on my forehead and chin, the green on the other places, it's covered. I didn't go in with a ton of foundation. Um, once again, you don't want to load up on the color corrector, but I do have to say the Wet n Wild Cover All um, color corrector palette is really, really nice. Not greasy. The foundation is sitting beautifully on top of it. I don't see any kind of weird cast, but now we're going to go in with concealer. Okay, so this is what my complexion look, is looking like. Um, I really, really like the uh, correcting palette. I think it's really, really nice. Um, the zit isn't totally covered. I don't want to keep loading stuff on top of it, but it is way toned down than it was before. So I really like this. I think if you can find it, I would pick it up. They only have the one shade at my local Dollar Tree. It's really, really nice. And like I said, very lightweight. Um, I don't have any kind of weird crumbling. It's not overly greasy, it's not too dry, so it's like perfect consistency and I really do feel like it helped a lot to kind of correct those places. So once again, if you have severe discoloration, acne scars, um, dullness, just a lot of discoloration, it can be hard to cover it with regular foundation and concealer. So I would definitely recommend trying a color corrector. Maybe watch some actual makeup artists, Wayne Goss, um, Robert Welsh, um, Lisa Eldridge. There are a ton of actual makeup artists on YouTube. Um, I'll go ahead and link their channels down below for you. Um, you know, especially if you're older like me, like it can be kind of confusing. Oh, should I try this technique or this technique? But yeah, there's some really great artists here on YouTube. I'm not a makeup artist, but I do have learned a lot from watching, especially those three people, um, really, really good at makeup and really good at techniques and stuff. But yeah, I really, really like the Wet n Wild um, color or correcting palette. It's really, really nice and everything looks smooth, doesn't look dry. So yeah, especially for something so affordable, even if it wasn't at Dollar Tree, great quality. So love this stuff. Like, If you can't find it at your local Dollar Tree, if I can find it online, whether it's um, Amazon, Walmart, whatever. I'll go ahead and link it down below for you. If it is on Amazon, it will be an Amazon affiliate link. You're welcome to use it. You definitely don't have to, but anyway, there we go. Um, I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and share it. Let me know down below in the comments. If you are a color correcting individual, what is your favorite color corrector brand? I would love to know down below. And of course, you are welcome to follow me on my social media, Facebook and Instagram. It is at Budget Plan Babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start autoplaying here very shortly, or you can always click on one of the ones I'll be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.